In 2006, the world's greatest piece of fan fiction was written. Consider this, the feature-length adaptation. Part one of two, part two coming soon. Featuring Sorrow TV. So turn off the lights, get comfy. It's story time. My Emily. Oh my god, this is gonna be a trip. I can already tell. I did not read the books of Harry Potter growing up, but I did watch the movies. Hopefully that will be enough for me to understand the context of the story. Hi, my name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Ravenway. <laughs> and I have long ebony black hair. Wait, 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 what? One, of course you have ebony hair. Your name is Ebony Darkness and then you threw Raven in there. I mean, could you get any darker than that? Does anyone remember Esteban from The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? His name was like Esteban Montoya de la Rosa Ramirez da 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 da. This is the goth version of that. That's how I got my name. I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. I'm also a witch, <laughs> and I go to a magic school called Hogwarts in England, where I'm in the seventh year. I'm a goth. Of course you are. <laughs> and I wear mostly black. I love Hot Topic, uh -huh. and I buy all my clothes from there. A lot of preps stare at me. I put up my middle finger at them. Hey, Ebony! I shouted. <laughs> I looked up. It was Draco Malfoy. Oh no, oh no, Draco. There's, there's so many thirsty people in the Harry Potter community. Who love this guy. All right, let's see what's going to happen now. What's up, Draco? I asked. Nothing. I said shyly. But then... Draco? Isn't Draco, like, not shy at all? I don't remember him being shy. I heard my friends call me, and I had to go away. <laughs> chapter 2. Author's note. Thanks to Bloody Tears 666 again for helping me with the chapter. By the way, prep stop flaming my story, okay? <laughs> the next day I woke up in my bedroom. I opened the door of my coffin and drank some blood from a bottle I had. I oh my god. <laughs> I love how this story is like one stereotype after another. Just like, ah yes, this is how we write a good vampire story. All the vampire and goth stereotypes, just cram them all together in every sentence. I got out of my coffin and took off my giant My Chemical Romance t-shirt, which I use for pajamas. Uh... Instead, I put on a black leather dress. A okay. pentagram necklace, combat boots, and black fishnets. I put on four pairs of earrings in my pierced ears and put my hair in a kind of mess. Wait, wait, why do you need four earrings? My friend Willow, author's note, Raven, this is you, woke up and then grinned at me. She put on her Marilyn Manson t-shirt with a black mini. Can you tell that this person is really, really into either goth fashion or they're just like overthinking it. Like they're just putting all this detail here to like make themselves feel more confident or something. I feel like I'm learning more about like how to dress like a goth than the actual character in story here. Fishnets and pointy high heeled boots. We put on our makeup, black lipstick, white foundation, and black eyeliner. OMFG, I saw you talking to Draco Malfoy <laughs> yesterday. I <laughs> no way, no way, wait. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Two goths in a room. One of them is like, oh my god, are we serious? I feel like that's not very vampire-like. I mean, I guess you could have a vampire that's like, you know, valley gossip girl. But it's just not, not what I expect from vampire or goth people. That's a little strange. That excitedly. Yeah, so, I said blushing. Do you like Draco? I asked as we went out of the Slytherin common room and into the Great Hall. <laughs> No, I so f***ing don't, I shouted. <gasps> yeah, right, I exclaimed. Just then, Draco walked up to me. Hi, I said. Hi, I replied flirtily. Guess what, I said. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The character was just blushing and shy about it before, and now they instantly turn into a confident flirt? What the heck is going on here? Also, I knew as soon as they mentioned Draco, this was going to be a Draco fanfiction. I knew it. It always happens all the goddamn time. I have read a few Harry Potter fanfics in my day. And what? I asked. Well, good Charlotte are having a concert in Hogsmeade. I told her. <laughs> oh my f***ing <laughs> god, I screamed. I love good Charlotte. They are my favorite band besides My Chemical Romance. <laughs> well, do you want to go with me? I asked. <gasps> I gasped. Chapter 3, Author's Note. Stop flaming the story, preps, okay? Otherwise, fangs to the gothics people for the good reviews. Fangs again, Raven. On the Wait, wh what? What? 
I could barely understand what that sentence just said. Night of the concert, I put on my black lace-up boots and high heels. Underneath, there were ripped red fishnets. Then I put on this black mini dress with all of this corset stuff. I put on matching fishnets on my arms. I straightened my hair and made it look all spiky. I felt a little depressed then, so I slid open one of my wrists. No, no, no. 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 Why would you go in this direction? Why? It was going so well. I was just about to say, this person should write for like a fashion magazine. Like, you know, uh... Uh, goth gals magazine I don't know but they seem very passionate about the aesthetics of being goth I was just gonna say they should write about it I actually think they'd be better at it than Harry Potter fanfics and then you gotta throw that at me out of nowhere why why is the story about to get emo now it's just gonna fill up with emo stereotypes oh my god <laughs> as you do I read a depressing <laughs> book while I waited for it to stop bleeding and I listened to some good Charlotte. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. I painted my nails black and put on tons of black eyeliner. Then I put on some black lipstick. I didn't put on foundation because I was pale anyway. I drank- <laughs> Wait, wait! Then why did you put- d didn't they put foundation on before? Why did you even bother putting on foundation before? We put on our makeup. Black lipstick, white foundation, and black eyeliner. I- I'm so confused. Some human blood, so I was ready to go to the concert. I went outside. Draco was waiting there in front of his flying car. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, isn't this Harry Potter? Well, I guess he could have cast a spell on the car. Okay, that makes sense. I was gonna say, is this a flying car? Like, what the heck? He was wearing a simple plan t-shirt. They would play at the show too. Baggy black skater pants, black nail polish, and a little eyeliner. <laughs> Author's note, a lot for cool boys were it okay. What? What? Hi, Draco, I said in a depressed voice. Hi, Ebony, I said back. We walked into my flying black Mercedes Benz. The license plate said 666. <laughs> and flew to the place with the concert. On the way, we listened to- Wait, I was right. I was right. It's not a magical flying car. It's just a flying car! We're in the Harry Potter universe! This would have been the perfect time to create some immersion and create some kind of spell that makes the car fly. Why is this just a flying car? Is this Harry Potter in the future? A goth future? What? Decidedly to good Charlotte and Marilyn Manson. We both smoked cigarettes and <laughs> drugs. <laughs> when we got there, we both hopped out of the car. We went to the mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped up and down as we listened to Good Charlotte. I feel like I'm learning about the author's life more than I'm like reading a story. Does that make sense? Joel is so fucking hot, I said to Draco, pointing to him as he sang, filling the club with his amazing voice. <laughs> Suddenly, Draco looked sad. Of course you did. You just told your boy that you like another boy. Who does that? Come on now. Flirting 101. You were just flirting a moment ago. I got a sense that maybe the character knew how to court, but I guess not. Jeez. What's wrong? I asked as we moshed to the music. Then I caught on. Hey, it's okay. I don't like him better than you. Oh, that's not the best wording. I said. Really? <laughs> I asked sensitively. This is not Draco's character. This doesn't feel like Draco at all. As I put my arm around her, all protective. Really, I said. Besides, I don't even know Joel, and he's going out with Hillary f***ing Duff. I f***ing hate that little bitch, I said disgusted. Well, what did Hillary Duff ever do to you? She was my childhood. Thinking of her ugly blonde face. <laughs> what? The night went on really well, and I had a great time. So did Draco. After the concert, we drank some beer and asked Benji and Joel for their autographs and photos with them. We got good Charlotte concert tees. <laughs> Draco and I crawled back into the Mercedes Benz, but Draco didn't go back into Hogwarts. Wait, wait, why did they crawl into the Mercedes Benz? Were they just that drunk? I need some context here. Instead, he drove the car into the Forbidden Forest. Chapter four. Is this an innuendo? What, what does that, what is that? Oh wait, is the Forbidden Forest an actual place? Wait, I think it is. Forget what I just said, I'm stupid. I said stop flaming, okay? Ebony's name is Enobi, not Mary Sue, okay? Draco is so in love with her that he is acting different. This is not how you write good fanfiction! We knew each other before, okay? 
Draco, I shouted. What the f*** do you think you're doing? Draco didn't answer, but he stopped the flying car, and he walked out of it. <laughs> Wait, what? I walked out of it too, curiously. Wait, Wait why? Wait, wh why? They fell from the sky? That's just a thing that happens in this universe? What the f***ing hell, I asked angrily. That was a freaking Mercedes Benz! Ebony? He asked. What? I snapped. Draco leaned in extra close, and I looked into his gothic red eyes. He was wearing color contacts, which were- Oh my god, why? Revealed so much depressing sorrow and evilness, and then suddenly, I didn't feel mad anymore. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Well, I mean, I guess it does. You feel bad because he's sad? I, I guess? And then, suddenly, just as I, Draco kissed me passionately. Draco climbed on top of me, and we started to make out keenly against what? a tree. What? I don't think that's how that works, biologically speaking. I don't think that you just, like, stack humans, and then it just, like, happens. He took off my top, and I took off his clothes. I even took off my bra. Then he put his thingy into my you-know-what, and we did it for the first time. This might be the worst fanfiction I've ever listened to. <laughs> Dear God. Oh, 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 I screamed. I was beginning to get an orgasm. I started to kiss everywhere. This is really bad writing, let me just say. Not romantic at all. And my pale body became all warm. And then... What the hell are you doing, mom? But, wait, wait, no, no, wait, is that... Hold on, <laughs> what? It was Dumbledore. <laughs> it isn't Dumbledore? I was like, no way, that's not Dumbledore. Chapter 5, Author's Note. Stop flaming. If you flame, it means you are prep or a poser. The only reason Dumbledore swore is because he had a headache, okay? That does not explain a character's personality whatsoever. He would not do that with a headache. That's the point. And on top of that, he was mad at Dem for having sex. P.S. I'm not updating until I get five good reviews. Well, thank God. Just reading the author's notes is painful. Nonetheless, the story itself. Oh, thank God. I needed some mercy today. Dumbledore made, and Draco and I follow him. He kept shouting us angrily. <laughs> you ludicrous fools! I shouted. <laughs> I started to cry tears of blood down my pallid face. Draco comforted me. When we went back to the castle, Dumbledore took us to Professor Snape and Professor McGonagall. I feel like this would not happen in the Harry Potter universe. I really don't. This all feels so wrong. Who were both looking very angry. They were having sexual intercourse in the Forbidden Forest! Why is he talking like that? It's... it's so cringe. He yelled in a furious voice. <laughs> Why did you do such a thing, you mediocre dunces? Asked Professor McGonagall. How dare you? Demanded Professor <laughs> Snape. A question can't be a demand! A question cannot be a demand. He said, how dare you? That's a question. That is not a demand. Someone, please, help this person learn how to write. And then Draco shrieked, because I love her! Uh, I don't know if shrieked is the best word to be using in this situation. Everyone was quiet. Dumbledore and Professor McGonagall still looked mad, but Professor Snape said, Fine. Very well. You may go up to your rooms. Oh no, this actually makes me kind of sad because no spoilers. But if you know the history of Snape and a specific other character in the series that he cares for, that actually sort of makes sense. Like, oh, I feel bad for the lovers for I know what it was like to love and to lose. Okay, that kind of seemed in character. I mean, not really, because Snape is never that caring that easily. But you know, it's not 100% weird. Draco and I went upstairs while the teachers glared at us. Are you okay, Ebony? Draco asked gingerly. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I lied. I went to the girl's dorm and brushed my teeth and my hair and changed into a low-cut black floor-length dress with red lace all around it that had black high heels. When I came out, Draco was standing in front of the bathroom. He had started to sing, I Just Want to Live, by Good Charlotte. I was so flattered, even though he wasn't supposed to be there. 
We hugged and kissed. After that, we said goodnight, and he reluctantly went back to his room. I find it so funny that... she Is she a vampire or is she just goth? I was going to say it's pretty funny if he's performing a song called I Want to Live and she's undead. Isn't she a vampire? I think she's a vampire. Chapter 6 Shut up, preps, okay? P.S. I won't update until you give me good reviews. Well, that's what you said last time, and now we got an update. The next day I woke up in my coffin. I put on a black miniskirt that was ripple around the edges, and a matching top with red skulls all over it and high heel boots that were black. Uh-huh, of course. I put on two pairs of skull earrings and two crosses in my ears. I spray-painted my hair with purple. In the Great Hall, I ate some Count Chocula cereal with- Bro, bro, my childhood. Oh, now I'm thinking about like Fruity Pebbles and Lucky Charms. Why did you have to do that? Why did you have to do that? Blood instead of milk. And a glass of red blood. Suddenly, someone bumped into me. All the blood spilled all over my top. Bastard, I shouted angrily. I regretted saying it when I looked up. I was looking into the pale white face of a gothic boy with spiky black hair and red streaks in it. Oh no. Oh no. Is this about to turn into a cursed harem? I don't like it. He was wearing so much eyeliner that it was going down his face and he was wearing black lipstick. He didn't have glasses anymore and now he was wearing red contact lenses just like Draco's and there was no scar on his forehead anymore. No, this is... No, you can't... You can't... No, you can't do this, all right? Good fanfiction doesn't deviate that much from the original. At that point, you might as well just write an original story with original characters because the character isn't even the character anymore. What's the point? He had a manly stubble on his chin. He had a sexy English accent. He looked exactly like Joel Madden. He was so <laughs> sexy that my body went all hot when I saw him... Kind of like an erection, only I'm a girl, so I didn't get one, you sicko. Uh, first of all, TMI. Second of all, poor Draco. You're already emotionally cheating on him with another man. I'm so sorry, <laughs> I said in a shy voice. Why are all the boys in this, like, shy? Why? That's all right. What's your name? I questioned. My name's Harry Potter. Although most people call me vampire these days. I what? Not even a name? They just call you your species? You must be really uninteresting if no one even bothers to give you a name. I grumbled. <laughs> Why? I exclaimed. Because I love the taste of human blood. <laughs> I giggled. Well, I am a vampire, I confessed. Really? I whimpered. Yeah, I roared. We sat down for a while, then Draco came up behind me and told me he had a surprise for me, so I went away with him. Chapter 7. Bring me to life. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> of course you did. Of course you did. You know, I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. I was like, if this story progresses for long enough, we're gonna get an Evanescence reference. It's going to happen. How could you not? Author's note. Well, okay, guys. I'm only writing this because I got five god reviews. And by the way, I won't write a chap next chapter till I get ten good vons. At this point, I'm wondering if they're writing badly on purpose just because the story reads so much more clearly than their author's notes, which is kind of weird. Stop flaming or I'll report you. Ivany isn't a Mary Sue, okay? She isn't perfect. She's a Satanist. She has problems, and she's depressed, for God's sake. Draco and I held out pale <laughs> white hands with black nail polish and went upstairs. I was wearing red Satanist sings on my nails in red nail polish. Author's note. See, does dat sound like a Meru Sue to you? I waved to Vampire. I guess he was jealous of me, that I was going out with Draco. Anyway, I went upstairs. I mean, given the signals you were giving him a moment ago, even if there were just things you noticed, I'm not surprised. I feel like this is going to end horrendously. Stairs excitedly with Draco. We went to his room, and I locked the door. Then... We started Frenching passively. Then we took off each other's clothes enthusiastically. He felt me up before I took off my top. 
This is really bad romantic writing, let me just say. If you're gonna commit to a romantic scene, like, at least know how to do it. This is just depressing. I mean, with every sentence that passes by, I feel like love doesn't really exist. This sucks. It feels so mechanical. Then I took off my black leather bra, and he took off his pants. We went on the bed and started making out naked. Then he put his boy's thingy in mine, and we had sex. Is the person who's writing this like a child? <laughs> why? I don't I don't understand why someone would be dedicated enough to write romantic scenes, but like not be confident enough to just write what's happening. I am so confused right now. See, is that stupid? Oh, Draco, Draco, <laughs> I shall Yes, because it was poorly written. <laughs> while getting an orgasm when all of a sudden I saw a tattoo and I had never seen before on Draco's arm. It was a black heart with an arrow through it. On it, in bloody goth writing, were the words, Vampire. Those are letters, not words. And wow, what do you know? This is becoming a cursed harem. I was so angry. You bastard, I shouted angrily, jumping out of bed. No, no, but you don't understand. You could have gotten the letters filled in with black ink and then you would just have a big black heart on your arm, dude. Come on, if you can afford to get the whole heart on your arm, why not just fill it in? I'm just saying. Draco pleaded, but she knew too much. No, you f***ing idiot, I shouted. You probably have AIDS anyway. Wouldn't you have it by now, considering everything that's happened? Come on now, come on now, bad writing, bad writing. <laughs> I put on my clothes all huffily and then stomped out. Draco ran out even though he was naked. He had a really big you know what, but I was too mad to care. <laughs> uh, first truly funny sentence I have read in this entire story. Everything else was ridiculous, but that was funny. I stomped out and did so until I was in the vampire's classroom, where he was having a lesson with Professor Snape and some other people. Vampire Potter. You mother f <laughs> Chapter 8. Author's note. Stop flashing, okay? If you do, then you are a prep. Everyone in the class <laughs> stared at me and then Draco came into the room, even though he was naked, and started begging me to take him back. Ebony, it's not what you think! He screamed sadly. This is horrible. My friend Bloody Mary Smith smiled at me understandingly. She flipped her long, waist-length gothic black hair and opened her crimson eyes like blood that she was wearing contact lenses on. She had pale white skin that she was wearing white makeup on. Hermione was- This sounds very redundant, by the way. ...was kidnapped when she was born. Her real parents are vampires, and one of them is uh, a witch, but Voldemort killed her mother and her father committed suicide because he well, was depressed about it. This is very sudden. What does this have to do with anything? We haven't seen Hermione once in this entire story. Oh no. Oh no. Are you going to bring Hermione into this? Is this cursed harem going to get even bigger? She still has nightmares about it, and she is very haunted and depressed. It also turns out her real last name is Smith and not Granger. Since she had converted to Satanism, she is in Slytherinth now, not Gryffindor. What? What? Just make up a new character, bro! Just make up a new character! Just make up a new character! This is too much work! This doesn't make any sense! What is it that you desire, you ridiculous dimwit? Snape <laughs> demeaned angrily in his cold voice, but I ignored him. Vampire, I can't believe you cheated on me with Draco! I shouted at him. <gasps> Wait, that's not what the tattoo suggested at all. It just suggested that they dated at some previous point in time. Like, how do you know the tattoo is fresh? Again, this makes no goddamn sense! I don't know why Ebony was so mad at me. I had went out with Vampire. I'm bi, and so is Ebony. For a while. But then he broke my heart. He dumped me because he liked Brittany, a stupid preppy f***er. <laughs> We're just good friends now. He'd gone through horrible problems. And now he was gothic. Haha, <laughs> like I would hang out with a prep. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so freaking cringe. But I'm not going out with Draco anymore, said Vampire. Wait, why would you say that? I mean, if you really want to win her back. <laughs> You're f***ing right. F*** off, you bastard, I screamed. I ran out of the room into the forbidden forest where I had lost my virility <laughs> to Draco. And <laughs> 
wait, wait, wait. No, no, that, that is not the right word. I don't think that she is healthy enough to be in a relationship with anyone. Trust issues, for real, for real. Depression issues, for real, for real. Why is this even happening? And then I started to bust into tears. Chapter 9. Author's note. Stop flaming, okay? I didn't read all the books. This is from the movie, okay? So it's not my fault if Dumbledore swears. Besweeds, I said he had a headache. And the reason Snap doesn't like Harry now is because he Christian and Vampire is a Satanist. My com That doesn't make any sense. Also, I've only seen the movies and I know how inconsistent this is. That is not a good excuse. Local romance rocks. I was so mad and sad. I couldn't believe Draco for cheating on me. But he literally didn't. He just said that. And based on context, I figured he didn't. Which just makes you kind of crazy. I began to cry against the tree. With or insecure, I guess. I mean, at this point, I don't know what problem this woman doesn't have. Here I did it with Draco. Then, all of a sudden, an horrible man with red eyes and no nose and everything started flying towards me on a broomstick. He didn't have a nose, basically like Voldemort in the movie, and he was wearing all black, but it was obvious he wasn't gothic. It was Voldemort. No! So he looked just like Voldemort, and he was also Voldemort. Great foreshadowing. Great. Thank you. Oh, I shouted in a scared voice, but then Voldemort shouted, Imperial! And I couldn't run away. Crookshanks, I shouted at him. Voldemort fell off his broom and started to scream. I felt what? bad for him, even though I'm a sadist, so I stopped. Ebony! <laughs> the sadist comments, this ridiculous! I yelled, Thou must kill Vampire Potter! I thought about Vampire and his sex hour eyes, and his what? gothic black hair, and how his face looks just like Joel Madden. I uh. remember that Draco had said I didn't understand, so I thought, what if Draco went out with Vampire before I went out with him and they broke up? We've literally established this like twice. That's what I thought initially. And then they explained it to you. And now you just realized? How did that delayed thought process happen? Are you sure you're just depressed? Because I think there's a little more going on here. No, Voldemort, I shouted back. Voldemort gave me a gun. No, please, I begged. Thou must, I yelled. If thou does not, then I shall kill thy beloved Draco. But why? 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 How did he know? I asked in a surprised way. Wait, why did you say that out loud? Voldemort got a dude, you're so retarded look on his face. <laughs> I hath telekinesis, he answered cruelly. And if you doth not kill a vampire, then thou know what will happen to Draco, he shouted. Then he flew away angrily on his broomstick. Yeah, but why? Is this... what is this? Is Draco trying to get Ebony back by killing vampire to prove he doesn't like him anymore? Like, what? what is happening? I was so scared and mad I didn't know what to do. Suddenly, Draco came into the woods. Draco, I said. Hi. Yeah, hi. That's a very normal reaction to have after everything that just happened. Hi. He said back, but his face was all sad. He was wearing white foundation and messy eyeliner, kind of like a <laughs> pantogram. Get it? Between Joel Madden and Gerard Way. Are you okay? I asked. No, he answered. I'm sorry I got all mad at you, but I thought you cheated on me. I expelled. That's okay, he said all depressed, and we went back into Hogwarts. That is not okay. Break up. You can do better. Budget, Draco. Together making out. Chapter 10. Author's note. Stop it, you gay Fs. If you do not like my story, then f off. P.S. It turns out Beludi Mary isn't a muggle, a furt owl, and she a vampire are evil. That's why they moved houses, okay? Okay. Ish, oh, this is such a mess. I was really scared about Vladimir all day. 
I flawed Mort. Was even upset. Went to rehearsals with my gothic metal band, Bloody Gothic Rose Six Six Six. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's that's great. I like that. Draco and Vampire were <laughs> depressed, so they weren't coming, and we wrote songs instead. I knew Draco was probably slitting his wrists. He wouldn't die because he was a vampire too, and the only way you can kill a vampire is with a C R O S S. There's no way I'm writing that. Or a stink. <laughs> and wait, 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 wait. Wait, why can't you just write out cross? You practically did. Vampire was probably watching a depressing movie like The Corpse Bride. I Wait, but The Corpse Bride was actually like a great movie. It wasn't like entirely depressing. It was actually like kind of sweet at the end. He set her free. That's a happy ending. Even if it was partly sad. I put on a black leather shirt that showed off my boobs and tiny <laughs> matching miniskirt that said simple plan on the butt. What? You might think I'm a slut. But I'm really not. We were singing a oh, okay. cover of Helena, and at the end of the song, I suddenly bust into tears. Ebony, are you okay? Bloody Mary asked in a concerted <laughs> voice. What the fuck do you think? I asked angrily. And then I said, well, Voldemort came, and the f***ing bastard told me to f***ing kill Harry. But I don't want to kill him. Wait, I thought his name was Vampire. Because he's really nice, even if he did go out with Draco. But if I don't kill Harry, then Voldemort will kill Draco. I burst into tears. Suddenly, Draco jumped out from behind a wall. <laughs> Why didn't you get up? Wait, what? 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 Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I shouted. Is he a stalker? Oh god, this love story is getting worse every few minutes. How could you? You! You f***ing poser muggle b C is that out of character? Yes, very. I started to cry and cry. Draco started to cry too, all <laughs> sensitive. Then he ran out crying. We pre I love how, like Steven Universe, all the characters in this story go through a character development by crying. Practice for one more hour. Then suddenly Dumbledore walked in angrily. His eyes were all fiery and I knew this time it wasn't because he had a headache. What have you done? He started to cry wisely. Wait, wait, how do you wisely cry? See, that's basically not swearing, and this time he was really upset, and you will see why. Ebony Draco has been found in his room. He committed suicide by slitting his wrists! Wait, 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 hold on. I thought Draco just popped out from behind a wall to call every- Oh, are they saying, like, as soon as he left, he got killed in his room? Wait, how did he run to his room that fast? What the hell? What the hell is going on here? Is this some kind of magic spell? Like, is there some, like, I don't know, spell that creates a dummy of a person that isn't actually real, and so everyone thinks Draco's dead, but he's not actually dead? At this point, everything about the story is not following the logic of the original universe anyway, and so I wouldn't be surprised if this was all some elaborate scheme. WHAT?! Chapter 11. Author's note. I said stop flaming you preps. <laughs> See, if this chapter are stupid, 11111, I delves with really serious issues. I know, it's pretty, pretty clear from the writing. See for yourself if it's stupid BRW fangs to my friend Raven for helping me. <laughs> no, I screamed. I was horrified. Bloody Mary tried to comfort me, but I told her to f*** off. And I ran to my room crying to myself. Dumbledore chased after me, <laughs> shouting. But he had to stop when I went to my room, because he would look like a perv that way if he went in. <laughs> anyway, I started crying tears of blood, and then I slit both my wrists. They got all over my clothes, so I took them off and jumped into the bath angrily while I went to put on Lincoln Park at full volume. Oh my god. I grabbed a steak and almost stuck it into my heart to commit suicide. I was so fucking depressed. I got out of the bathtub and put on a black low cut dress with lace all over it, sandly. What? what? I put on black high heels with pink middle stuff on the ends and six pairs of skull earrings. I couldn't believe this. Then I looked out the window and screamed. Snap was spying on me, and he was taking a videotape of me. Oh no, this story is just getting worse and worse. 
And Lupin was masticating to it. What? What? How did? How did you figure all that out from looking out the window once? They were, masticating is chewing, by the way. Yep, that's yep. <laughs> <laughs> and they were sitting on their broomsticks. Ooh, you f***ing pervs. Stop looking at me naked. Are you pedos or what? I screamed, putting a black towel on with a picture of Marilyn Manson on it. Suddenly, Vampire ran in. Abracadabra. Uh, I thought... I thought boys weren't allowed in the room. What? Abra! He yelled at Snape and Lupin, pointing his womb. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening anymore. I don't I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't know anything. I took my gun and shot Snape and Luke. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. What is happening? Been a gazillion time and they both started screaming and the camera broke. Suddenly, what? Dumbledore ran in. <laughs> Ebony, it has been revealed that someone has No! This guy literally had to come into the room, see her with a gun, see Harry or Vampire, I don't even know what his goddamn name is because they keep switching it, with his wand pointed towards the window. You got Snape and whoever the hell the other guy is, I don't even remember his name, he's so goddamn irrelevant, dying while levitating on broomsticks. He sees that whole scene and he actually starts to make an announcement instead of going straight to the no part. What is this universe? Oh, he shouted, looking at Snape and Lupin, and then waved his wand. And suddenly... Oh, he brings them to life, doesn't he? Hagrid ran... Or heals them. ...outside on his broom, and said, Everyone, we need to talk. What do you know, Hagrid? You're just a little Hogwarts student. I may be a Hogwarts student, Hargrid paused angrily. Wait, what ha- what? But I am also a Satanist! The everyone in this story is a Satanist, which makes that absolutely meaningless. This cannot be, Snap said in a crisp voice, as blood dripped from his hand where Dumbledore's wand had shot him. What?! Wait. Huh? Dumbledore said, No! I wanted to get in the last shot! And he just shoots him with a wand? I thought he was gonna save him. What the hell? <laughs> when did- What? what? <laughs> Dude, what? I'm beyond lost at this point. There must be other factors. You don't have any, I yelled in madly. Lupin held up the camera triumphantly. The lens may be ruined, but the tape is still there. I felt faint. More than I normally do. Like how it feels when you do not drink enough blood. Why are you doing this? Lupin said angrily. Because... Because... <laughs> Hargid said as he paused in the air dramatically, waving his wand in the air. Then swooped he in, singing to the tune of a gothic version of a song by 50 Cent. Wait, wait, wait. Why? <laughs> because you're gothic. Snap asked in a little afraid voice, because he was afraid it meant he was connected with Satan. Because I love her. No! Uh, no! <laughs> No, this is not, I, <laughs> this is too much. This is too bad. This is not okay. Chapter 12, author's note. Stop F, R, ing, okay? Hargid is a pedo to a lot of people in American schools. Ah, uh, like that, I- Wait, wait, what, ha, huh? what? I wanted to address the issue. How do you know, snap? I ain't Kristen plus Hagrid isn't really in love with Ebony. That was Cedric, okay? What? But didn't he just admit it in the last scene? What? I was about to slit my wrists again. With a silver knife that Draco had given me in case anything happened to him. How is that him being supportive to you? I mean, I guess you can't die. But why is it like a replacement for him or something? Like what? No! I thought it was Hagrid, but it was Vampire. He started to scream. Oh my fucking god, no! My scar hurt! This is really bad. This whole time, it wasn't even Hagrid. It was freaking 
Is it Harry or is it Vampire? We've started calling him Vampire again, so I guess he's Vampire now. And then his eyes rolled up. You could only see his red lights. I stopped. Uh, How did you know? I saw it! And my scar turned back into a lightning bolt! Wait, is he turning into a human again? No! I ran up closer. I thought you didn't have a scar anymore, I shouted. I do, but Diabolo changed it into a pentagram for me, and I always covered it up with foundation. What? I said back. Anyway, my scar hurt, and it turned back into the lightning bolt. Save me! Then I had a vision of what was happening to Draco. Wolfimort has him bondage. Wh why? He's dead. Wait, is was Draco not a vampire, but now he's going to become a vampire? I have no idea what's happening. Anyway, I was in the school nurse's office now, recovering from my slit wrists. Snap and Lupin and... Wait, you've you've done that so many times before. Why are you in the nurse's office now? I thought I thought you couldn't die. I'm so confused. Ha was there too. They were going to St. Mango's after they What? <laughs> after they recovered cuz there were pedophiles and you can't have those <laughs> pervs teaching in a school with lots of hot girls. Um uh, yeah, not not the best uh not the best angle to take for a fan fiction. Got to say. Dumbledore had constipated the Sidio camera, they took off me naked. <laughs> I put up my middle finger at them. Anyway, Hagrid came into the hospital bed holding a bouquet of pink roses. So that was Hagrid before? Or was that vampire? I have no idea what's happening. Enobi, I need to tell you something, Nig. I said in a V-serious voice, giving her the roses. <laughs> Cough, I told him. You know I hate the f***ing color pink anyway. And I don't like up preps like you, I snapped. Hagrid had been mean to me before for being gothic. No, you know, B. Hagrid says, those are not roses. What, are they goths too, you poser prep? I <laughs> asked because I was angry that he had bought me pink roses. I saved your life, I yelled angrily. No, you didn't, I replied. You saved me what? from getting a Paris Hilton P video made from your shower scene and being viewed by Snape and Lupin, who masturbated. C, is that spelled wrong? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Whatever, I yelled angrily. He pointed his wand at the pink roses. No, 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 no. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Listen, this fanfiction's already bad enough, okay? We do not need to go down this path. It will not end well. None of these paths have already ended well. Don't do this. Don't do this. These are roses. <laughs> he suddenly looked at them with an evil look in his eye and muttered, Well, if you wanted honesty, that's all you had to say. That's not a spell. That's a My Chemical Romance song. I corrected him wisely. What? It sounded like he was just going to kill her, and now they're relating over music, I guess? I know. I was just warming up my vocal cordes. Then he screamed. <laughs> Petulus Marengo mi cremil chil romacio. For all you cool gothic My Chemical Romance fans out there, that... Is a tribute, especially for Raven. I love you, girl. In my opinion, Nato Okeo. And then <laughs> what? Then the roses turn into a huge black flame floating in the middle of the air, and it was black. And I ah, uh, you already said that. Knew he wasn't a prep. Okay, I believe you now. What the fuck is Draco? Hair grid <laughs> rolled his eyes. I looked into the balls of flame, but I could see nothing. You see, Enabi, <laughs> dumbly Dora said, watching the two of us watching the flame. So this is like the hologram in Star Wars, but gothic fire edition. To see what is in the flames. Ha <laughs> ha you reviewers flames, get it? You must find <laughs> yourself first, Kay. No, I have find myself, okay, you mean old man, Hargrid yelled. Dumbledore looked shocked. Dumbledore. I guess he didn't have a headache, or else he would have said something back. No, oh, God. Hargrid stormed off back into his bed. 
Anyway, when I got better, I went upstairs and put on a black leather mini dress that was all ripped <laughs> with, the with lace on it. Then I put on some corset stuff on the front. Then I put on some black fishnets and black high heel boots with pictures of Billy Joe Armstrong on them. I put my hair all out around me so I looked like Samara from the ring. If you don't know who she is, you are prep, so f*** off. So I put on blood red lips. Oh my god, this is so detailed. Black eyeliner and black lip gloss. Is any of this actually critical to the story at all? You look kawaii, girl. But Ludi Mary said sadly. Fangs. Get it? You do too. I said sadly. <laughs> but I was still upset. I slit both my wrists, feeling totally depressed, and I- Oh my god. It has no meaning. It has no meaning because she does it so often. Sucked out all the blood. I feel desensitized to this, and that is not okay. I cried again in my bathroom, and I put the shades on so Snap and Lupin couldn't spy on me this time. I went to some classes. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Vampire was in the hair of magical magic creatures. He looked what? all depressed because Draco had disappeared and he had used to be in love with Draco. He was sucking some blood from a Hufflepuff. Everyone in this story is depressed and has very serious mental and emotional problems. Hi, he said in a depressed way. Hi back, I said in a wickedly sad way. We both looked at each other for some time. Harry had beautiful- Oh god, Draco's dead! Don't you still care? Didn't you just have a vision about that? Maybe you should do something about that, you know, maybe you should grieve the person who died first before going in this direction. Red gothic eyes, so much like Draco's. Then, we jumped on each other and started screwing each other. What? Why? Why? <laughs> Man, it, it didn't take long for her to get over Draco. I guess she didn't really care that much. <laughs> you horny simpletons! Shouted Professor Mick Goggle, who was watching us, and so was everyone else. Van oh, great. The school is entirely filled with creepy people. Great. Nice. Awesome, awesome world building. Empire, you f***er. I started slapping him. Stop trying to screw me. You know I love Draco. I shout. Loved in the past tense, though, because you don't care anymore. Shouted, <laughs> then I ran away angrily. Chapter 13. Vampire and I run up the stairs looking for Dumbledore. We were so scared. Dumbledore! Dumbledore! Dumbledore. <laughs> we both yelled. Dumbledore came there. What is it that you want now, you despicable snobs? <laughs> he asked angrily. Voldemort has, has Draco! We shouted at the same time. Yeah, but it took them all this time to finally tell you. He laughed in an <laughs> evil voice. No, no don't. don't! We, we need, need to, to save, save Draco. Draco! We begged. No, he said meanly. I don't give a darn what Voldemort does to Draco. I love how he started out cursing like it was nothing, and now he's saying darn. Great character development. Not after how much he misbehaved in school, especially with you, Ebony, he said while he frowned looking at me. Besides, I never liked him that much anyway. This is not his character. Then he walked away. Vampire started crying. My Draco! He moaned. Yeah, uh, if you really felt that way, uh, I think you would have went to save Draco sooner. Author's note. Don't you think gay guys are, like, so hot? It's okay. <laughs> I tried to help him, but that didn't stop him. He started to cry tears of blood. And then he had a brainstorm. I had an idea! Oh no, now we're stealing from childhood cartoons! He exclaimed. What? I asked him. You'll see, he said. He took out his wand and did a spell. <laughs> then... Suddenly, we were in Voldemort Puritt's lair! You could have done that so much sooner. Why? Why? This is ridiculous. We ran with our wands out, just as we heard the croon voice say, A la cadavra. It was Voldemort. <laughs> Chapter 14. <laughs> Author's note. F*** off preps, okay? Raven fangs for helping again. I'm sorry I couldn't update, but I was depressed and had to go to the hospital because I slit my wrist. 
like I said, I feel like we're learning more about the author in this story than the actual characters, which makes a lot of sense. It is a fever dream. P.S. I'm not updating till I give you my 10 good reviews. Warning, some of this chapter is extremely scray. Vior excretion advice. <laughs> uh, excretions advised. Okay, okay. We ran into where Voldemort was. It turned out that Voldemort wasn't there. Instead, the fat guy who killed Cedric was. What? Draco was there crying tears of blood. Snake Tail was torturing him. People live their authentic lives. Vampire and I <laughs> ran in front of the Snake Tail. Read my sight, you despicable preps, he shouted as we started shooting him with the gun. He what? then suddenly, he looked at me, and he fell down with a lovey-dovey look in his eyes. Oh god, this is... Uh, no. No, don't, don't add him to this cringe harem. Don't. He's about to die anyway, what's the point? Doc, he said. <laughs> in this, he is 16 years old, so he's not a pedophile, okay? Oh, no. Huh? I asked. Inobi, I love you. Will you have sex with me? Asked Snake Tail. I started <laughs> laughing rudely. What the what? f***? You torture my boyfriend and then you expect me to f*** you? God, you are so f***ed up, you f***ing bastard. I said angrily. And then I stabbed him in the heart. Blood poured out like a fountain. No! <laughs> Ah, oh, finally. This should have never started, and I'm so glad it's already over. <laughs> he screamed. He started screaming and running around. Then he fell down and died. I brust into tears, sadly. Why? You just told him off, and he was a creep. Snake Tail, what art thou doing? Called Voldemort. Then... He started coming! No, 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 don't... Why? Why'd you have to write it like that? What? Why'd you have to write it like that? We could hear his high heels clacking to us. So we got on our broomsticks, and we flew to Hogwarts. Wait, but Draco! You left Draco behind! Poor freaking Draco! That's why you went down there, isn't it? What the heck? We went to my room. Vampire went away. There I started crying. What's wrong, honey? Asked Draco, taking off his clothes so we could. Uh, but, uh, 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 wh what? What? Screw. He had a sex pack. Get it? Because he's so sexy. What? And a really huge, you know what, and everything. <laughs> what is happening? Wait, so did they take him? Did they actually help him escape, but the author didn't even bother to write that, so we didn't know? It's so unfair. I yielded. Why can't I just be ugly or plain like well, all the other girls and well, preps here except for Baludi Mary? Because she's not ugly or anything. What? Why would you want to be ugly? I don't like the preps anyway. They're such f***ing sluts, answered Draco. <laughs> yeah, but everyone is in love with me. Like Snape and Lupin took a video of me naked. Hagrid says he's in love with me, vampires like me, and now even Snake Tail is in love with me. Didn't he die though? I, I feel like you can cross him off the list because he died. I just want to be with you, okay, Draco? Why couldn't Satan have made me less beautiful? I shouted angrily. Author's note, don't worry, Enobi isn't a snob or anything, but a lot of people have told her she's pretty. I'm good at too many things. Why can't I just be normal? It's a f***ing curse. I shouted and then I ran away. Chapter 15. <laughs> Author's note. Stop flaming, okay? By the way, you suck. Again, I feel like the author is saying a lot about themselves in this story. From And man, uh, I kind of feel bad for the author now. Like, the deeper I get into this and the more desensitized I become to the cringe, like, it stays confusing. But... All the cringe just turns into like, man, I feel really bad for the author. Like, whoever wrote this must be going through some serious shit. No, on every time someone flams me, I'm gonna slit my wrists. Uh-oh, nope, don't, don't say that. Don't weaponize mental illness like that. I mean, that's, that's just manipulative. That's just, mm, I don't like that. I don't like that. Thanks to Raven for helping. Ebony, Ebony! Shouted Draco sadly. No, please, come back! But I was too mad. Whatever, now you can go and have sex with Vampire, I shouted. 
I stormed into my room and closed my black door with the blood red key. <laughs> then I looked at my black good Charlotte watch and noticed that it was time to go. Oh my god, the, the arms. Go to biology. I put on a short ripped black gothic dress that said anarchy on the front in blood red letters. Oh my god. And it was all ripped and with a spiky belt. Under that I put on ripped black fishnets and boots that said Joel all over them in blood red letters. <laughs> I put my ebony black hair out. Anyway, I went downstairs feeling all sad and depressed as usual. I did some advanced <laughs> biology work. I was turning a bloody pentagram into a black guitar. Suddenly the guitar turned what? to Draco. Inobi, I love you, I shouted sadly. I do not care what those fucker preps and posers think. You're the most beautiful girl in the world. Before I met you, I used to want to commit suicide all the time. <laughs> now I just want to f***ing be with you. I f***ing love you. Then he started to sing The Chronicles of Life and Death. <laughs> we considered it our song now, because we fell in love when Joel was singing it. Oh boy. Uh, this is not a healthy relationship. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. Oh my f***ing god, I said after he was finished. Some f***ing prep stared at us. But I just stuck my middle finger up at them. They were covered in black nail polish and were intertwined with Draco's now. I love you, I said. And then we started to kiss. Then we went away holding hands. Lupin shouted at us, but he stopped because everyone was clapping by how sexy we looked together. What is wrong with this school? Then I saw a poster saying that MCR would have a concert in Hogsmeade right then. We looked at each other all shocked and then we went together. To oh. be continued. Oh god, this one was so hard to get through. <laughs> question mark? Like, bloody question mark. <laughs> oh god. Next time on My Immortal. <laughs> Ebony and Draco go to the My Chemical Romance concert. Oh god. But they're in for a big surprise. <gasps> of course they are, it's gonna be like Hermione, isn't it? I bet the author's gonna add even more people to this cringy harem. Just you wait. Just you wait. This is so stereotypical. It's so easy to predict what's gonna happen. I wish I had final thoughts for this video, but honestly, I just feel like I lost a lot of brain cells and I feel like everything that could be said. I said when I was watching the video, it was confusing. It made absolutely no sense. And uh, man, there's three parts. There's three parts to this. There's two more videos of this fan fiction story. And, uh, you guys really want me to see it, so I'm gonna see it, but... <laughs> but it's so bad, and so cringy, and I do kind of feel bad for the author, because I had a feeling it was inspired by them, and it was. And it was.